Jack, uh, a close run game. Give us your reaction to the result. Obviously disappointing. I mean, you don't want to lose any game. We got quite close there at the end, but yeah, we're frustrated not to get the two points, to be honest. Where do you think the game was won and lost? It looked like Somerset bowled very well at the top, and I know they were about 22 ahead themselves after their power play. Was that early exchanges in both innings the important part of the game for you? Might have been a little bit. Obviously, they bowled quite well and, and sort of pegged us back. Uh, we'd have probably liked to have got a little bit more at the power play, but again, players can bowl well. So we ended up getting to 165, which I thought was competitive. We were probably a little bit under par maybe 175, 180, um, and then they obviously got away to a decent start with Allenby and Myberg, and, and we pegged it back, so we, we kept ourselves in the game. It was obviously frustrating to lose in the, in the final over. Obviously, our record against Somerset in recent years isn't the best. Um, is there anything in the fact that it's a local derby, or has it just been luck of the draw? No, I just think it how it goes on the day. 2020 is very, uh, very independent, and it, if any team turns up on the day, you, you play good cricket, and you're going to win. So today, they obviously turned up slightly better than us and won those key moments. And, and we just let those slip a little bit, which is a bit disappointing. A good cameo from you with the bat at the end of our innings and two tight overs with the ball. Um, how do you manage to sort of keep your concentration? It's a really raucous crowd, a sellout tonight. Um, how do you manage to keep your concentration during those big moments? Yeah, I mean, it's always it's sort of what we, what we strive for and enjoy, playing in front of big crowds. So obviously tonight, or whatever, eight, eight, nine thousand, whatever it was, it was great to play in front of. And you just got to try and keep thinking internally and, and do your own things and just execute what you practiced over the years, training sessions, other games, just, just try and replicate that and just hope it comes off. It's a group where everyone's beating everyone, it's wide open still. Presumably this is a, seen as a blip for the boys and, uh, and still every chance of making the quarterfinals. A little bit, I mean we're definitely backing ourselves to make the quarterfinals, I think we're still in a decent position. Um, obviously Sussex next week and I think we play Surrey at the over the week after another two big games. We get two results go our way and then we're going to be in a good position. So I mean we're just looking to win as many games of cricket as possible and, and, and make those quarterfinals. And anything to work on? I know it's early days after the game, probably still haven't had those discussions yet, but anything that springs to mind is areas to improve before next week? Well, it, it's going to be tough. I mean, it's a quick turnaround. We're um, training Red Bull tomorrow and we start a championship game Sunday, so it's got to just think about what you do, time, squeeze it in and, and, and just get on with it. I mean, I don't think we're that far off. We played some decent cricket today and just a little bit frustrated we weren't quite there.